I don't think Christians should believe in the rapture because it's not a biblical doctrine. This is a doctrine that was invented in the 19th century by James Darby in Ireland. And when we were on our Irish uh, speaking tour a couple years ago, we actually uh, visited and spent a few nights at Parse Court where Darby used to hold his Bible studies with the rich and the noble there. Um, and the rapture doctrine was developed, but it, it is not a doctrine that is affirmed historically by any of the great confessions of the Christian church, Catholic, Orthodox, or Protestant. It's based upon a misinterpretation of certain New Testament passages where Paul talks about how the Lord will return and we who are believers will be gathered to meet him in the air. Now the question is, when does this occur? Darby thought that this was a sort of secret return of Christ prior to the second coming of Christ on the Judgment Day. But there's absolutely no New Testament reason for separating this event from the second coming of Christ. When you read Jesus' Olivet Discourse in Mark 13 and you read Paul's teaching in light of that, it seems quite clear to me at least that Christ will return at the end of human history. This will be his um, second coming. His first was um, the one that ended with his crucifixion and resurrection. That was his first coming. His second coming will be when he comes on the day of the Lord for judging the world and determining people's final state. So when Christ returns on the judgment day, he will bring with him the souls of the departed saints. And then those who are alive at the time of his return will be gathered to meet them uh, in the air and accompany the Lord then to the earth for the final judgment. And so it seems to me that it is illusory to invent this secret preemptory return of Jesus prior to his second coming.